All right, so a little bit different video. I thought we'd just cruise around a little bit on the board. I haven't taken it out basically all summer uh, because I've been filming videos in, in my room and I have all the backgrounds and all that stuff. And I figured I'd just come outside and get comfortable with filming outside since eventually I will be probably filming in different locations because my room is only so big and there's only so much to show in there. So I thought we'd just do a little bit of a different background this time. Anyways, today's video is going to be us, or me, reviewing the websites that everyone in Discord has sent in. About a month ago, I announced that we we're going to do a community project, and the community project was a to-do list. And I know every time someone makes a to-do list, a puppy dies in the world of programming. But that is the best, basically the best beginner's tutorial that I can think of. There were no strict rules on the project. It was kind of whatever you wanted to code it in. No specific end goals, just to uh, you know keep the project as open as possible to as many people that wanted to participate in it. So um, I'm going to be filming me setting up the project, ease of setup, make sure the readme's all good. I mean that's all part of the project, right? I don't know if you can hear the ground, but they repaved it, and it's supposed to be smoother, but it seems like the opposite. So yeah, I got really tired and I actually fell asleep before I could finish this video, so here we are. One more thing before we go, I have a Discord, the link for that's in the description down below. Be sure and join that. I'll be announcing another community project there. I just want to say thank you to the patrons we have. DJ Richie, the Marta V. Vlaslo, Josh, Jane, Armand, Craig, Daniel now. Um, appreciate all you guys do. And I couldn't do all this without you. So if you've ever thought about donating to someone, you know, maybe donate to me. To me. I'm bad. I'm bad at begging for money, all right? It feels weird. I hate doing it. You probably hate watching it. I'm sorry. All right, let's jump into the to-do projects. So basically, these were all these were all apps submitted by people in the Discord, and I'll put all the links for these in the description of the video, so you guys can go download them and test them if you've ever wanted to play with to-do apps that are built in a bunch of different ways. So we have um, this one, which is just a mixture of JS. We had the one with the client and the server with Firebase, and then we had the one where I had to log in with the uh, with the with the with the change from the 1207 to localhost and then we had the ones that were built with jQuery. So overall these are pretty I think you guys could probably get a lot of value out of this just by like pulling these in and then trying to run them and then modifying them. And I and I feel like that's what everyone here should do. So if you're interested in looking at a bunch of different to-do apps, this is a this is a great place to start. And again, the links for this I'll either pin them as a comment or I'll put them in the description below. But I appreciate everyone sending them in, and I hope that you don't think I'm being too harsh on you, but these are the first time I've ever seen these projects, and you know, a little UX, a little UI goes goes a long way um, with what exactly I'm supposed to do, but I know that you, most of you guys are working on the code and getting the code to work right, and so that that's awesome. And, and so we'll do another one of these, and we'll make it different, and maybe I'll be a little bit more specific with the requirements because I thought that it would be easier without giving you requirements, but then I end up just not knowing what to do or how to run it, um, like we had with that with the Firebase to-do app. But um, you know, we made it somewhat far. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing, and uh, maybe you know. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Um, we're gonna have a vote on these. We're gonna we're gonna vote on all these, and and then the top three will go through and uh, we'll see if we can get the person who made it to come on stream and we'll talk about it and how they did it and what they thought was hard and all that stuff. So I'd appreciate it if you guys do vote on this. We'll leave the vote link as a comment. I'll pin that. We'll make a little poll and you guys can go vote on it and uh, you can see which one was the best one. So I'll see you guys in the next video. So I have a little notepad here. Let's go ahead and pick off the first to-do list app. If I click this plus, it just clears it, and then I have to click it again to bring it back. Is that what we're doing here? I click plus, it kills it, and I click it, bring it back, and add an item. I can delete these items if I click plus here. Okay, so solid. I think this would be the only thing that's a little bit confusing as to what this plus sign does. Not entirely sure if you even meant for this to be a button. We can go ahead and inspect this. Looking at this, it doesn't seem like you have indicated for this to be a button at all up here, yet it does have some odd functionality. Not sure exactly what's happening when I click it. It doesn't appear to be wrapped in anything. It does have a class. Any console errors? No console errors, so good job on that. Oh, okay, all right, so one thing here that I would do immediately would be to remove this section here. We don't, if we're not using this code, I know it's just a minor nitpick with optimization. Go ahead and remove that code. 
Um, let's save this. Refresh, make sure it's still working. Okay, so we did need the ULs here, so this appears to be where you're appending it. Save it, refresh. Yeah, so you are appending into these U ULs. Um, it's not apparent, so let's take a look at your assets, your JavaScript. You got jQuery, main.js. Let's take a look at your JavaScript here. On click, li, toggle class completed. On click, parent, this dot parent. Um, and then you're appending a list item here with FAFA trash can on it. And then if you click the FA trash can, it gets deleted plus to do text. Oh, so this, the, the, okay, so this to do text is what we get from the input box. Strap propagation, okay, you got that there. Um, so what you could do here, instead of appending, you could just do dot inner HTML, or you can append this large piece of text on. I mean, I suppose either works. I like your commenting in here, create new li, grabbing new to-do text, so got the value, complete x, or click x to delete it, so you're removing this from the parent, whatever you're clicking on. And then you have this plus, click input type equals text, but you're toggling it, I'm not sure I'm not sure if this is entirely needed because I'm not in, I'm not entirely sure what it does. But let's look at the CSS here. Oh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Oh, you got some fallback for old browsers. Thinking about that compatibility. Colon and expected. Okay, so we're missing. We have one error there. Missing your colon. Refresh. Save. What I would do here, if you're gonna have that comment in there, just but um. Appended code goes here. Okay. Any other errors in here? No. All right, let's refresh this, see what this looks like. It doesn't look like, okay, so there we go. Now we can see the master item border. That's what was missing. So if I come back in here, comment that line out, refresh. This has no border when I'm adding. So if I come back, recomment it, I'll have to refresh the page first. Now I can see that this is a blue border. So solid link, good stuff, man. This is a this is a really. I know you might think that it's simple, but this is a pretty interactive to do list. Um, I would definitely put this on. You know, it's already on your GitHub, but put this, host this somewhere where you can interact with it, and other people can come to it and they can interact with it and they can inspect the page and they can go to the code. You know, it's not super complex, they come in here and they click main.js and then boom, all of your code's right here for them to see. Um, you have your index, fairly simple, appended code goes here, um, but you know, solid link, good stuff. So uh, I, don't know, I don't know if you guys know this, but um, there's a little extension called go live and you can click this button down here and it will open a browser for you and that way any change you make will automatically just go into this. Oh, so we have, this is a pretty similar thing to solid links. I don't know if you guys work together. I mean, I didn't say that you couldn't, but this looks relatively similar here. Um, not sure what this button does. Not sure what these stacks do. So I click off. That doesn't actually do anything. Let's take a look at the code. We have UL. Um, so these are your initial LIs here that you can delete. Let's go to your assets, JavaScript, to do. Lots of comments. Very good. I don't mind. Some people be, say to remove this, but since I'm displaying them and they know that I'm going to display them. Um, so we're on click. Toggling completed. Let's see if that actually happens. So we're displaying them. So these are still there, apparently. Let's refresh this. So if I delete this. And then I look at this container. Are they still in here? OK, so it appears when I'm deleting them, I'm not actually deleting them. I'm just changing their opacity to 0 and displaying none. But technically, if I were to remove this, and put it back. 
then uh, it's still there. So what you need to do is remove this element from the DOM entirely. Does the same thing happen with new items? Let's see. There's my span. If I click that, what happens? So you're displaying that opacity zero. So that's my only beef with this. Um, it's, it's not that it's bad, right? It's just that you're not actually removing it. This code still stays in existence. And, you know, if someone makes infinite amount of uh, to-do things, your computer will eventually run out of memory. All right, you have to think of infinity. I realize, like, oh, it's just a kilobyte, but, like, infinity is infinity is infinity. So eventually it would run out of memory. It'd be like an infinite loop where your browser starts to crash and all that stuff. So you need to figure out a way to remove these from the DOM rather than having them just display none with opacity zero. Let's actually look at the other code here. I like that you did a count here, so you have um, if the key enter is pressed, which is character 13, you are correct. So I can type something here, and then I can hit enter, and it works. So I like that you accounted for the enter button, as well as clicking complete. So yell Zordi, good stuff. Um, just fix those couple issues that I that I have with it, and I think you'll be well on your way, sir. How to run this in the console? Let's install the C sharp. Oh, it's asleep. So the thing with Heroku apps is why, why it's taking this so long to load is that Heroku apps go to, uh, they go to sleep. All right, add new checklist. Or, all right, let's, so we add a list and then, okay, so we have that. Looking pretty sweet. We got an edit button. Oh, I can, so I can edit the name. New name. Ooh. What's up? Groceries. Groveries, yeah, sure. Wash dogs because they're pretty dirty. I took them on a I took them on a walk at the park yesterday, and of course they have to jump in to the creek completely and roll around. Um, obviously, make some dinner. So then we have. All right, I like this UI here. I don't have to mouse over to know exactly what to do. Although I'm not entirely sure what these checkboxes are for. Um, let me see if I have to check it to delete it. So I can delete them all just by doing that. Um, but what are these checkboxes for here? So if I click the X, do they all delete now? No. Okay, so we have a list, which I've named, new name. And then we have a new list. So this is, I, li I like the functionality here. If I click that, does that delete? Okay, so that just deleted the list. All right, one thing I would like to, to proposition you here would be to ask me if I'm sure that's what I want to do because I'm kind of unsure how this UI is working. Uh, it would be cool if there was like a little more indication exactly of, of what I'm doing. But the main thing I'm confused are what are these checkboxes for? Um, because if I click this X, it doesn't delete all of them. Therefore, uh, does it let me edit this? One thing that would be neat is if I could come back in here and edit the name of this uh, once it's set. Maybe you intended to do that or something's not working. Let's look at the console. Oh, no console errors. Let's look at your JavaScript here. So we're, we got an index. Is this minified? That's pretty, yeah. Let's look at this. Div ID, app, div. App. Okay, so what are we what are we using here? What's the JS composed of? Um, everything's minified, so I can't tell what this was made with. I'm gonna have to look at your actual code here, to figure out what's going on. We got Webpack minifying it. Yep. Well, we'll we'll, we'll figure that out. I mean, this is pretty good. I, I think uh, the main main thing here is I'm unsure what these what these checkboxes do. Um, and then also, if I click this X, it's just like goodbye. It doesn't even doesn't even ask me if I'm if I'm sure. And I just deleted everything. And then another thing that would be cool would be if I could edit these. Um, but I like the functionality of it. I think it's very. Um, ooh, here's one thing. We just found um, I can input apps or I can input things to do without anything to do. So maybe a little validation there would also be pretty sweet. So it would be like, there's nothing here. You can't add anything unless you put something here. Because again, someone could just infinitely do this and would eventually crash 
your app on Heroku, or maybe Heroku itself, I'm not sure. This with View is what it looks like. So if I look up here, I can see that you made it with View. So if you don't know what I'm talking about specifically, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, you, can, you guys can't see it. There's this little icon up here. That's the View icon. So um, let's move on to the next one. So we got Create React App. I don't even know if I have NPM and Yarn installed. All right, hold. This is my fault, right? I should be prepared to do these things. Add to path. Yep. Oops. So we definitely want that. Next, install. All right, let's run this bad boy. Community project. Google login. Oh, so we're using some APIs here. Ooh, that OAuth. All right. Huh. New task title, test details, community project review. All right. How do I access it? Let's see if there's any errors, make sure. Ooh. In div at header JS. I was mad about that here. Did so refresh. Why, what else is it mad about? I think I'm supposed to run this server, but the README doesn't tell me how to do it. Oh, all right. I know what to do. I think I need to open up another one of these here, here, and then npm install. All right, we're gonna have to wait on an update for this because I guess I have no idea what I'm doing and I still have a couple others I need to review. I'm gonna have to-do lists all over my desktop. <laughs> Let's open this with code. Let's kill these servers. Kill that server. Go live. Oh, wait, that's not going to work. Environment this application is running on. Must be HTTPS. All right, let's just see if there's an NPM and I can see if I can get that to run instead. Let's just Google it then. All right, we got it. So I have to use localhost. I can't use one, two, whatever. All right, let's log in. Ooh, looking good. So click that, add new task, add. So I hit enter there and it refreshed. New task, add. So I can click this. Is there something wrong with this here? No console errors. New task. Um, second task. But what can I do with these? Is there a delete somewhere in here? Look at your code here. Um, no delete in here. Is there a remove? No. Look at the code. We got MDL. So I like, you are using MDL, which is Material Design Light. For you guys who don't know what MDL is, it's Material Design Light. I use that at work. Um, Increments tasks. Let's see. I mean, everything here is working, and you have these little material design checkboxes, which are pretty neat. Then I can add a new one, or I can exit that menu. So it's kind of cool. Um, and then I can sign out. 
which is also neat. Cool, so that is this one. Let's move on to the next one. The only thing I, I would recommend here would be to add the remove option. I'm not sure if you guys just didn't get that in or, or what. Add an item to see it here. Test body. Um, take the dogs on a walk. That's cool. If I, oh, so I can click, can I edit this? Is there any way for me to edit, edit this? It shows me the date and time. That's cool. Removed. All right. Is this gonna go away? It's not gonna go away. Test two, walk dog. Okay, so when I when I add a new one, can I stack these? So test three, run dog. So now there's two, and then if I remove these, it sits there until I either refresh the page or make a new item. So that's pretty cool. Let's come over to your GitHub. I'm assuming this is on your GitHub, so I'm gonna come up here. Oh, here you are, okay. Go to your repos. Animated Jello, so you're using that. That's kind of cool. Then you have some inline JavaScript here. Um, in general, I would move this JavaScript to a new file. So you will give me an error if I don't put everything in. So let's go back. Actually, so I don't want that. All field required. Makes sense. So that works. You do have validation. I like that. Um, I, really, I like this application. It's simple. It's straightforward. Um, it would be cool if I made one and then it gets added without reloading the page. I think you could do that, but um, you just append it and remove it from the DOM. And then here, if I click the X to remove it, it sits forever. It doesn't actually go away and then it pulls up when I hover over it. So you have all these animations. And that's pretty sweet, but this should be removed from the DOM like with a timeout like after three seconds or something. Because now I'm confused and I don't know what to do. I'll just add a new one and hopefully it goes away. So you've opened this without refreshing the DOM. And I click add. Now it's gone because it refreshes the page. But overall this is pretty pretty good. <laughs>